We present SINSIN, a method for performing view synthesis from a single image. It is trained end-to-end -end using our new differentiable point cloud renderer. It achieves impressive results for single image view synthesis. Given a single image of a scene, we learn a model to address the question of what would happen if we changed viewpoint. For example, if we moved forward and then turned left. To solve this problem, our model has to learn about two aspects. First, it must understand the 3D structure of the scene to manipulate the pixels. The model must also understand context in order to in-paint missing regions, such as the famous Ren library shown here. To solve this problem, we use a latent point cloud representation. Given an image, we pass it through a network to obtain features at each pixel location. We also predict the depth at each location, which is used to create a point cloud of features. This is our latent point cloud representation. We then apply the known camera transformation to view the point cloud at the new viewpoint. Using ideas from traditional graphics approaches, we introduce our differentiable point cloud renderer, which renders these features at the new viewpoint. This gives us a set of projected features. But it will have some holes and potentially artifacts that from where the point cloud does not project. For example, regions in a new image that are not visible in the original one should not have projected features. In order to fix this, we use our generator network, which is based on GAM models in order to fill in the missing regions. We then apply a set of losses, a discriminator loss, an L2 loss, and a perceptual loss. At training time, the supervision is the input image, the rotation, translation, and the target image. No ground truth depth is used. The depth and feature networks are trained end-to-end -end using our differentiable point cloud renderer. At test time, we don't need the target image for the loss. We only take as input an image and desired new viewpoint. This is passed through the network to generate a new image of the scene at that new viewpoint. We test our model and compare it to the baselines on real scenes. Given the input image, the task is to generate images corresponding to the viewpoints of the ground truth video. Our model is able to generate new viewpoints for outdoor scenes. It also manages to outpaint the banister in the living room scene. We compare our approach to the best performing baseline. The baseline uses a voxel representation implicitly. However, it is blurrier and exhibits more artifacts than our method. This is validated by our superior quantitative results in the paper. Here we exhibit additional results from our model. All frames are generated from the first frame according to the given changes in viewpoint. We next evaluate our model with respect to two state-of-the-art approaches that use auxiliary input information. However, they exhibit failure cases that ours does not. 3D View uses a depth model pre-trained on ground truth depth maps. It uses a naive, blurry outpainting method. It sometimes predicts erroneous depth as its depth prediction model is trained on a different domain. StereoMag uses two input views at test time. It does not outpaint regions unseen by both images. Finally, we visualize the latent 3D point cloud learned by our model. Given the input image, SinSin predicts the shown latent 3D point cloud. In the model, this is actually a 3D point cloud of features, but we're showing RGB colors for simplicity. Thank you for listening. We have included our point cloud code in the open source PyTorch 3D library as well as our code for generating the models and experiments. Please check this out if interested and come to our poster with any questions.